ladies, a very warm welcome to each one of you. And you know, you can see how excited I am today because, because we're talking about rockets. Now, who cannot get excited when they hear the word rockets? You know, how much I am excited is whenever, uh, whenever Diwali used to happen and, uh, you know, my father used to buy that one box, the entire box, which has all the crackers. You know, what is that one cracker I always used to look forward? The first cracker I used to open was the rocket, <laughs> right? How many of you guys love rockets? We all love it because we are amused by the way it flies up. We are amused by the way it actually works, right? That is how exciting rockets are. Now, today's class, it's going to be, what is the fuel that people use in rockets? How are these rockets going that far? Right? It's going to go very, very far. How is all of this happening? What fuel are they using? And is that fuel costly? <laughs> right? That is what we'll be seeing in today's class, guys. Again, a very warm welcome to my class. If you guys do not know me, my name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vidantu. And if you are new here on this channel, that is Vidantu Young Wonders, do not forget to hit on that subscribe button, also the like button, to let me know that you guys are all here in the class. So mark your attendance by hitting on the like. And I am right now there in the chat reading all of your comments. So make sure you, you make the chat go like super fast. <laughs> all right. Keep spamming. Keep spamming. All right. So let us quickly get started with this amazing class where we will be trying to understand the types of rocket fuel. All right. Let's go forward. Yeah, that's me. Riding on a very cool rocket. <laughs> right. Let's go, guys. So what is the thought for the day? We always start positive. Like whenever, you, whenever I used to go to school, uh, in, the, in the prayer assembly, in that hot sun, we used to stand there. And then, let us call so somebody's name. For example, let us call Guddu to tell the thought for the day. Then we all used to be like, oh. but then, <laughs> here it's different because this is very much needed so what is the thought for the day now if you want to achieve something in life change the way not the intention very very good okay so if you want to achieve something if you want to get something make sure you, you change the way you want to achieve it but not the intention your intention should be good your intention should be proper because if your intention is not proper even if you achieve or you know, don't achieve, it doesn't matter, right? Because your intention itself is bad. It, is, it was not good. So make sure the intention is right. All right. That's a beautiful quote, guys. Yes, keep it in the mind. Okay, use it. Now, here is a physics meme. What is happening? Yo. Okay. There are two people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's gone. And what is Donald Trump? He's like... Oh, look, that's a citizen of US. Look, look at the, look at the heights we reach. We reach the sky. When I told you that our people are going to reach the sky, that is what I meant. <laughs> and the guy comes back again. I think he's the one who hits the mountains and rocks. <laughs> God, but again, relating something to this physics meme, guys, it is not at all easy to go to this height. Never, right? No matter how much hard you throw the ball up in the sky. It doesn't go that high. Why? Because there is a force that is sitting like this and not allowing anybody to go anywhere. That's gravity, right? So if something has to go to space, if something has to go out of this planet, it has to escape from the gravity of the earth. All right. Now, in order to escape from the gravity of the earth, we need a tremendous thrust. We need so much force to escape from it. And that we get by burning the fuel in the rocket. Okay. That is what we know about rockets so far. Right. But we'll see what is next. So now that I told you, when a rocket is standing on the you know launch pad, the rocket is at rest, but what are all the forces acting on the rocket? One, gravitational force. It's not letting the rocket go up. 
It's like I am gonna hold you. I am gonna hold you. I'm not gonna let you go up. But the rocket is like, bro, wait till I start burning my fuel. So once we start burning the fuel, there is one more force which is produced and that is opposite to the force of gravity. So force of gravity is acting downwards. It's keeping the rocket on the launch pad and the thrust acts upward. So thrust makes the rocket go. And how is this thrust produced? The thrust is produced by burning the rocket fuel. And when all that, you know, burnt exhaust gases, you know, come through a small nozzle, that creates enough thrust for the rocket to go up. Every action has a equal and opposite reaction, right? So the thrust coming out of the rocket is the, uh, you know, action and the reaction is the rocket going up. All right, that's what happens. So what are these fuels basically? What type of fuel do we use? Now, there are two types. The basic types are two. What are those two? Let's check it out. Yes, we have liquid propellant. We have solid propellant. What is liquid? What is solid? Same normal states, guys. So, uh, you know, we all know all of this is so my, my hand. I'm solid. Solid means a solid piece. Liquid means, you know, what is a liquid? So these two types of uh, fuels is what we have. Let's have, a, let's have a look at both of them separately. All right. The first thing is the solid fuel rockets. Okay. Let us talk about them. Now this you can relate it with your Diwali cracker. Because even in your Diwali cracker, do you have a liquid inside it? It's powder. It's basically solid. Right. So solid rockets are simple, very simple and reliable. Like a Roman candle. So once it is ignited, there is no stopping them. That is the reason. You might all ask me, but sir, when we have solid, why do we have to go for liquid? Because you are telling solid is simple, reliable. But why not? Guys, it's because once you ignite it, you, it'll never stop. It'll only stop when the entire fuel is gone. It's like a Diwali rocket. Like, can you turn on the rocket and turn off? No. Once you ignite it, pss, gone. 100 rupees, over. <laughs> right? The same thing happens here also. Once you ignite it, there is no stopping them. Now, the earliest rockets were solid fuel rockets. The, the first, first, you know, when, when it was invented, it was all solid fuel rockets. They were using gunpowder. So, they burn until they run out. They can't be throttled to control the thrust. What does this controlling mean? For example, if you are going on a highway, right? If the road is empty, what do you do? You go forward. Suddenly a car comes. You put the brakes. So what are you doing? You're controlling it. You can increase or you can decrease or accelerate or deaccelerate. You're able to control it. But here, there is no control like that. Once it starts burning, it keeps on burning, produces massive amount of thrust. Now, solid fuel is a composite typically consisting of solid oxidizer. So the fuel itself will contain fuel as well as oxidizer. Now, what does that mean? We all know for a fire to burn, we need fuel, heat, oxygen. So you might all be thinking, but so when the rocket goes up in the sky, the oxygen levels are very less. But how is it still burning properly? Because we are adding an oxidizer with it. That means we are mixing oxygen along with the uh, fuel and then igniting it. Simple, right? Check this out. So we have solid fuel and oxidizer. Oxidizer basically has oxygen. It helps the fuel to burn properly. Then we have the spark, the ignition that ignites it, uh, which burns from you know inside to outwards. It burns like this, inside to outwards. Then you have the combustion chamber. Combustion chamber is where the combustion happens. Next is hot gases come out of the nozzle. This is a nozzle. It comes out. When it comes out, thrust is produced. Rocket goes zoop. All right. Yes. Next one. What rockets use solid fuel? So some of the examples of rockets that use solid propellant include the first stage of military missiles. 
the missiles that military uses all of those missiles use solid fuels and also we have commercial rockets and the first stage boosters commercial rockets we know the smaller ones for example the rockets that we use the, the weather rockets so all of that uh, you know uses solid fuels and also the first stage boosters that are attached to the sides of the liquid fuel tank if you see uh, you know shuttle space uh, uh, space shuttle a huge red color tank will be there on the sides there will be small two boosters so first this boosters will burn then they will stage that's called staging the boosters will fall down and then the remaining rocket will go up all right so it is also used as boosters in the side of a liquid fuel so later on they'll use liquid until a level they'll use solid solid is thrown out now staging happened then liquid fuel is used okay whenever you see the picture no you'll try to on you, you you can you can relate it right for example discovery all you know all of these space shuttles they have this big tank in the middle side pe two boosters will be there those two boosters are solid fuel all right let's go forward now check this out then we have liquid fuel rockets liquids are very fun because liquid rockets provide less raw thrust compared to solid the thrust is very less but it can be controlled so allowing the astronauts to regulate the speed of the rocket ship if they want the ship to go very fast they'll increase it if they want the ship to go very slow they'll decrease it okay and even sometimes close the fuel is stopped it's like you know what we what we do sometimes you know the the petrol prices are so 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 much right now so nowadays i've seen people doing whenever they come to a slope no they're turning off their engine happily one day i was walking on the road suddenly a bike goes i'm like eh no engine sound but that is not an electric bike kaise how then i realized after going down the slope he is like <clears throat> i'm like okay <laughs> so he has turned it off he doesn't want it when he wants it he again you know kick starts and goes again the same thing the astronauts can do they can turn it off when they don't want it and they, they can turn it on again when they want it and this can only happen in liquid fuel rockets why because if you see this diagram right here you have the liquid fuel on the top you have liquid oxidizer because you need oxygen to burn you will have valves just close one of it done if there is no oxidizer fuel won't burn if there is no fuel what is the use of oxidizer so if you close it the combustion stops the rocket there is no more thrust it's just floating in the space all right yes great no so cool now <coughs> which rockets use uh, liquid fuel liquid rocket engines are used on space shuttle to place humans in the orbit for example the space shuttles that we use like discovery columbia all of that they were using this liquid rocket engines okay and on many unmanned missiles to place satellites in orbit on on several high speed research aircrafts following the world war 2 that times they were using this liquid uh, you know uh, fuel for its engines so that it was producing lot of thrust got it yes yes great now now let us talk about gas propellant you all might ask me but sir we talked about liquid we talked about solid gas kyun nahi hai <laughs> why are why isn't there gas a delta 4 heavy during lift off the rocket is entirely fueled with liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen cryogenic propellants cool it's 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 freezing it's in, it's under high pressure they using hydrogen hydrogen is the fuel and oxygen they have as an oxidizer they use that for propulsion or the propulsion means to to for producing that thrust now gas propellants are occasionally used you can't use gas entirely to make a rocket go up no occasionally for some applications they use this gas propellant but they are largely impractical for space travel don't even think about it bro no all right so gas propellants have interested some physicists due to their low vapor pressure when compared to liquid uh, propellants 
This reduces the risk of explosion. Accidents. Gel propellants behave like solid propellants in the storage and like a liquid propellant in use. That, that's different. That's gel propellants. Okay. So while it is stored, it is like solid. But when, when we are using it, it, it melts down and it becomes a liquid. That's gel propellants. All right. Cool, guys. So now, before we move forward, I want to tell you guys something very, very, very cool. Now, what is that? That is, we already saw something very cool called as the, you know, rockets and their fuel. What is more cooler is something that you guys are getting from us. All right. What is that? I'll tell you. And after that, we'll discuss what else do rockets need besides fuel. Apart from fuel, what else rocket rockets need? I'm going to hide the text. <laughs> All right. So what is it, guys? Let me quickly show you. I want to tell you guys something very, very important. That is about your next academic year. So what plans, guys? What plans? Your new academic year has started, right? You guys are also excited. You know, new class, so many new, you know, new books, new chapters at the same time. Uh, new chapters, how are we going to study all this? It's going to be difficult because last year I was chilling. Right. So for all of you guys, guess what? You know that I always tell you guys to take up Vedanta because it's very structured. You have an amazing learning experience here. But most of you guys were telling, but sir, the price is, you know, high. I'm not able to offer it. I, I want something even lesser. Right. Now, what if I tell you, you guys get your entire academic year. If you are in seventh grade, so the entire seventh grade, guess what? For just four, five, zero, 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 four thousand five hundred for English, for math, for science, for your entire academic year, just for four thousand five hundred. Isn't that cool? All right. Isn't that cool, guys? Now, let me quickly show you how you can you know, uh, know more about this course, how you can take up this course. All you guys have to do is go to my video right now, right? If you are, if you are in my video, you can find the courses links here in the description. You can find the courses link and let's say you guys are from grade eight. I'm going to click on grade eight and check this out. Check this out. Get full year CBSC course at just 5,000. But you might ask, but sir, you said 4,500. If you use my coupon code MK pro. M K P R O, you get it for 4,500. So 500 off. That's my gift to you guys. <laughs> All right. So let us quickly check. So one year ka course plan. The one I'm talking about is light pro light. So in light, what you'll be getting in class doubt solving guys, hundred percent doubt solving happens in the class because you will be having class teachers specifically for doubts. Okay, then you'll be having what live in class quizzes leaderboards imagine playing quizzes right after every concept isn't that so cool every concept and if you get right answers your name is going to be there on the leaderboard your name is going to be displayed to the entire class all right next assignments and class notes definitely study materials so right after every class you can download the class notes can you click and download the class notes for better understanding. Okay, then all of this, yes, all of this for just how much? 4,500 only. That is if you use my coupon code. If you don't want to use my coupon code, it's 5,000. So use it. It's 4,500. Take it up right away, guys, because the batches are starting very soon. And I want you guys to be, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, I want you guys to be the first one to take it up. I want you guys to learn from me and other amazing master teachers for a very very nominal price for your entire academic year trust me all right now let's go back so all you have to do is click on buy now and then you know enter your details uh, any which payment method all that but don't forget to use mk pro all right let's go for the uh, 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 class 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 so oh we are still here right what else do rockets need apart from fuel? Hey, uh, let's see. In order to get an object to space, you of course need fuel. I told you. You also need oxygen to burn. You need an oxidizer. Without an oxidizer, how will it burn? 
you need an oxidizer now apart from that aerodynamic surfaces because you're you know you are flying through the atmosphere you have to minimize the drag the air resistance so it has to be aerodynamic like a lamborghini car how it goes zoo because it is aerodynamic okay now next one uh, and also gambling engines to steer the, the the engines which you know you can it's a gambling engine sorry which you can move in order to steer the rocket if you want to go it this way you can move the engine like this way you can move it all right so gambling engines to steer and somewhere for the hot stuff to come out that is the nozzle to provide enough thrust so all of this is what you need to put your satellite into space into mars into jupiter into whatever planet you want you need a rocket and the rocket needs all of this <laughs> all right guys so i hope all of you understood and learned how amazing this rockets can be and how amazing fuels that we use for this rockets now we are not going to stop here all right we are definitely not going to stop here now i am going to be adding a v quiz link right below the video about the same topics that we just discussed so make sure that you guys do that v quiz attempt those questions and also let me know in the comment sections what else you guys want to learn about rockets and that will be your next session <laughs> all right so let me know in the comment sections what else you want to know about rockets or space or any topics put all those topics in the comment section because i want to teach you guys what you want all right so i hope all of you had fun learning about rockets with me so do not forget to hit on the subscribe and like button that's very important because that's how you guys can support us any more details do you want regarding the pro classes the light classes all you have to do is whatsapp whatsapp to this number and the format for whatsapp you know you have it here my name is dash i want to join the family of vedantu which one six seven eight nine whichever it is uh, and i'm texting after watching my favorite teacher mohan sirs mohan sirs session <laughs> all right do that and you, you, you'll, you'll always get a call back and it'll be sorted okay so yes guys thank you so much for attending this session make sure you guys hit on this like button and subscribe i will definitely meet you guys in the next session with an amazing cool extraordinary out of the earth topic so until then this is me mohan signing off all of you take care stay safe stay as lovely as always you guys are bye bye <laughs>